and welcome back to another week of, oh, I zoomed into myself, didn't mean to, another week of Vlogmas with me and Damien. Today we are going to, what is it called? Comic Arts LA. Comic Arts LA. Kawa, if you will. And uh, we're gonna go look at some independent um, comic artists. And I think we're also gonna go to the um, enamel market at 3D Retro in Glendale. And uh, possibly somewhere else, who knows? But right now, we, we're going to my car. Uh, I had to park far away last night. And we're gonna, um, I need to get some coffee. And probably, I have a banana. I'm freaking starving. So maybe I'll get like a pastry or something. Starbucks has all these egg bites that are like, they look really good, but they all have cheese in them. So you can eat them. And yeah, but we're heading to the car. Damien's got a super cute San Junipero sweater on that I'm super jealous of. It was $7 at Target. It was on clearance. Which I never even saw at like normal price. Did you? No. Yeah, it was weird. Went straight to clearance. I mean, honestly, jealous. Although I'm wearing my alien sweater. Where's that? There it is. So yeah, we are heading to the car. We'll see you when we get somewhere. I'm not really sure how I managed this, but we did stuff today and I didn't record at all, which I find very weird because I'm pretty sure I recorded at least one other clip today and it's not on my camera. So I don't know what happened there if it didn't save it somehow, but I want to show you what we got today. We went to LA. Comic Arts LA, C-A-L-A, -A, and we got some stuff that I want to show, um, kind of like a little mini haul really quick because I don't know what... First of all, I didn't want to record there too much because artists are really... Um, not strange, but like it's totally justified about recording their stuff and I totally get it So I didn't want to like be all up in people's faces with stuff So I want to show you do a brief like little snap like little show you what we got so Damien got this little mystery pack um, That came with two it came with a plastic pin two large stickers and a mini zine super cute super cute So is Damien Jeez, it's not yeah. like you're gonna burp. I got this little print of this little witch with her fat little kitty I also came with a sticker, but I don't know where the sticker's at. I prefer his big bone. Um, these were free. These came um, with it, so yeah. I mean, when you walked in, they gave it to you. I got these from... Oh, here's my sticker. It's a little tiny um, cow getting abducted by an alien. Same artist as this. These two uh, are called male gays. These are inspired by old erotic, like male gay and male erotica, and I just super loved the art, and I loved... Just, I don't know, I loved all his prints and stuff, so I got these. Here's his name, you can't read. I'll go ahead and put that in the description below. I got to meet the illustrator of Snot Girl, which I freaking love. If you don't read Snot Girl, you have to be. Go read it. It's so good, so weird. Um, it's by the writer of Scott Pilgrim, right? Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't illustrate these. The um, illustrator is uh, Leslie Hung, and she is super nice, so good. You should, you should go. I don't want to bend anything. What else do we get, just these two? Mm-hmm. Damien got Super Late Bloomer by Julia, is it K? Yeah. Yeah? She's super nice. Um, Damien talked to her more than I did, so Damien can probably attest to this more, but I thought she seemed super nice. Um, her stuff's online, like, she's really well known, apparently online, in comics and stuff, so yeah. super awesome. Um, where's the last thing? To, oh, and this is The Witch Boy. So this is by Molly, I don't want to mispronounce this, Molly Knox Ostertag? I think so. Um, Apparently this is really good. I thought it sounded good. I almost actually bought this for myself. I love the illustration on the back. She was also very nice. So everyone there was really nice. I actually really loved um, C-A-L-A, Comic Arts L-A. Um, I really liked it. Everyone there was super nice. There was like a lot of diverse people, like a lot of like people of color artists and LGBT artists, and I just really liked it. So we went there. After that, we went to Savers. We met up with Laura and Aaron. They came with us. Um, we got a couple of, I got a couple of Monster High dolls. I'm not gonna lie, so. You know me, I have a problem. We got, I got a couple Monster High dolls, and then we, Damien got, uh, I, don't, I think he got a doll too, I don't remember. But after that, we went to Tuesday morning with Laura and Aaron and the Donut Man in uh, Glendora, which was so good. And now we're home. I just finished editing the last week's vlog, which is going up tomorrow morning, uh, really early. So if you wanna watch that, it's already up. I don't know why you'd be watching this now. That one, so ignore me. But uh, yeah, and it's kind of late, so I'm probably gonna go to bed. No, I don't know about soon, but because it is a weekend. However, yeah, that's how our day went. Sorry I didn't record anything. I find it very strange that I didn't record anything. I 100% am still convinced that I had something recorded and it's gone. I just don't believe that I didn't record anything all day long, except for that clip of us walking to the car this morning. Damien's already in his pajamas, so I guess maybe I should change too. But yeah, I guess we'll see you tomorrow, which I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Are we going tomorrow? Not sure yet. We might be going somewhere tomorrow. But I'm not gonna mention just in case we don't go. But I'll see you tomorrow. 
Hi, it's um uh Sunday. <clears throat> Me and Damien are getting ready. He's um, tucking in a shirt. <laughs> Hi. We're getting ready to go to Target and Trader Joe's because um, we need some stuff, obviously, like foods and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna record there just because, are you trying to get past me? I don't think we're gonna record there just because, um, it, I don't know, should I record that? I don't know, do people find Target interesting, Trader Joe's interesting? I just- Yeah, I feel like they're both of this. Oh, well, maybe I will bring my camera because apparently I'm stupid and don't know how to vlog, but Damien does. I'm gonna um, do something with this crazy nest of hair. I'm gonna brush my teeth. And then I guess we're gonna head out start the day then we got to come home and like Do stuff. I need to set up my bullet journal for this week. I need to record We'll start recording a video for that's going up next week and then Damien Has to work on some stuff That I can't mention so last week's vlog went up So if you're interested in watching that I'll link it in the card above it um, was ended up being longer than I thought it would be, uh, but I still liked it. I liked how it turned out, so you should go watch it because you like me, obviously, if you're watching this video. Pause this video, go watch that one, come back. Boom. Wait for it. Boom. God love when people don't know how to park. Idiots. Let's look what Damien found, which it was sold out everywhere, including on Amazon, and so I didn't end up getting it for him for Christmas, and I told him that so he could buy it if he wanted to. So, and a SpongeBob outfit. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, Jean Ralphiel from Parks and Rec just walked by us, and I was gonna record him, but I didn't want to be that douchebag. That, like, he's obviously at Target at 10 a.m. trying to, like, not deal with people, so I didn't record him. But it was so cool because I love Parks and Rec, and Jean Ralphiel is one of my favorites. But I just wanted to say that I saw Jean Ralphiel in real life. It is, uh, Monday? Yeah, Monday. And I realized yesterday that I'm really bad at, like, closing off the vlogs per day, but, you know, I'm gonna get better, hopefully. Yeah, I just got home from work a little bit ago. I showered, and now I need to um, work on my bullet journal, because um, I'm recording that video. It's gonna go up uh, tomorrow, so that means if you're watching, this is already up. So if you wanna go watch my 2019 uh, bullet journal layout, go ahead and look at that. Uh, I need to get started on that, though. Yeah, I think that's it. I started to shave, and then my electric razor died, so it was a hack job. I'm gonna get started on that, and we'll be back in a little bit for some kind of update. I have spent basically um, all day working on my bullet journal video, and I'm now realizing that my camera's on manual setting from that, so this might look a little weird. I spent basically the entire day working on that video, and now I just like don't even know if I'm gonna have it done tonight, because I gotta go to bed soon-ish. What time is it? Oh, it's only 6.30. It feels very late because it's dark out, and so I don't know, maybe I will get this done tonight. I'm gonna try, but if not, I can just upload it later tomorrow. Um, it's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna get started on that. That's been my day, so please go watch that video. I'm gonna link it in the card above because I apparently spent all day working on this, so please, 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 please go like it. I mean, watch it. Do whatever, okay. So I just got done editing the bullet journal video. However, I have not done the most time consuming part, which is doing the voiceover. And to be honest, like, I'm just not feeling it right now, but it's only 6.50, everything else is edited. I just should do it. I should just do it. But for some reason, I struggle with doing voiceovers, and I don't know if it's because I don't do them often enough, so I don't know how to do them, like, um, efficiently, but I always end up, like, rushing myself because I, I, which I know is a stupid way to do it, but I don't know any other way to do it, is I pick this, the time of what I want, how long I want the video to be, because I have to, like, edit the clips, right, and, like, speed them up and stuff. And then I do the voiceover on top of that. And I know that's stupid because, like, you should do the voiceover and then trim the clips to however long, but, like, for some reason I just can't do that. I don't know if I need to, like, watch a tutorial, so if anybody knows of any tutorials, please let me know. But I always feel like I'm trying to catch up with the, um, voiceovers and, like, try and, like, keep up with the the changing of the seasons, and then I like, uh, my voice starts to get like, um, out of breath because I'm fat, I don't know why, but yeah, so I just, I like doing these videos, but I just, the voiceovers get me every time. So I had to work my, up the courage to do that. It's only like a six, seven minute video, I should be able to do it fine. I can get it all uploaded and edited and up tonight, but I'm being stupid, so let's see what happens. I should just do it. I should just do it. Eat the toad first. Isn't that how the saying goes? No. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. That's a Midwestern thing. This is the look I'm getting from Damien right now because I said to eat the um, toad first. I look really ugly from this angle. How do you know? I don't know. Probably. I want to get your facial reaction. Can you eat the... Is that like cart before the horse? What are you saying? What? What does the saying mean? Mm, um... Uh, Mark Twain said, Mark Twain. <laughs> Mark Twain said, 
eat a live frog first thing in the morning and nothing worse will happen to you the rest of the day. Honestly, that's not a, a regular quote. That's just a Mark Twain being a freak. Anyway, for uh, for Damien and for anyone else that does it out there that doesn't understand what that means, it means to do the worst thing you need to do first thing in the morning and just get it out of the way. If you have to eat a live frog every day, do it the first thing in the morning. Otherwise, you're gonna spend all day thinking about it and dreading eating the frog. If you just eat the frog, and get it out of the way, Unless then all the vegan. other what? Unless you're vegan. You, okay, but if you're forced to eat it, you still have to do it first because then you won't be spending all day dreading it. Yeah. Unless also. My shirt says another day, another, wait, what does it say? Another I'll day, say another, avocado another avocado toast. Goodwill, $2. It's an Ingrid Goes West t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Goodwill in LA gets you some weird stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go eat a live frog last in the day. It's uh, Thursday. Here's my gorgeous boyfriend Hi. that I love. Hi. And uh, we're both sick. So there hasn't been like basically any recording for the past couple days. Um, I just wanted to get this update because I realized we haven't, I haven't recorded any in a couple days. Uh, and uh, are you looking at yourself? Yeah, my face looks dumpy. No, it doesn't. You look cute. I love you. I love you too. We're both sick, and so are you trying to rest your head on my shoulder? It looked like you no, were. I need to oh, sorry. Damien's cooking dinner. Um, we're both sick, and so, how many times can I say that we're both sick? Twenty. It's been pretty awful. I'm gonna set you on my microwave. It's been pretty awful. Uh, we both basically felt like our heads are gonna explode for like two days now, three days now. Uh, I've been nauseous. Uh, I have this stuffed and runny nose that keeps going away and coming back. It's very weird. And uh, I'm coughing, a little bit of a sore throat, you know, the whole shebang. However, I still manage, excuse me, I still managed to get my outlining my novel um, writing video up. So if you wanna watch that, it's gonna be up in the link in the card, as well as the description. Um, if you're into writing stuff, if not, it's cool, it's cool, you're just strong. But I don't feel very good. Naming doesn't feel very good. Today's been a, just not much to update, but tomorrow we're going over to Laura's and Saturday we'll be at Laura's because we're helping Laura move. Um, she's packing up her, um, the moving truck. And yeah, so that's gonna be something to record because yeah. Okay, but I have nothing else to say for today. Bye.